Nice one for the camera. Cool, boy. Small thing. Good morning, guys. Philip here again. Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'll be showing you guys how I fish out here on the Kingston Jetty. So if you're new to this channel, leave a comment. Let me know you're watching, like this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So stay tuned. Well guys, I'll be showing you the rigs I use out here, how to set it up, some of the hooks that I use and the bait, the main man. So have a look. So okay guys, this is some of the things I would normally use. This is the Paku line I would normally use. This is just the leader for this popping cork. This is the cork where it is normally used to pop for snapper and I will show you guys how I would set up everything and they have this at a bottom rig i will show you guys how i do it well for the paku line basically it's just a sinker and a hook so i would just it's nothing fancy just i would just tie this on and use a big hook sometimes some big grouper would go after this bait so basically what I do is put a knot at the end make a loop put this through here and Bring it up and dry so basically this is it and you guys will see what this the sketch and for this this is the popping cork that I would use and this is wooden you can use a styrofoam one or whichever one you can put your hands on but I will show you guys how I set this one and the reason why I set it like that so have a look I force First I will tie on my clip for the hook and this is the kind of tie I would use just wrap this for like three or four times bring it through back here and put it back through and Pull. and average the length of the leader that you want so I will use probably a 25 inches of line so this I will use a, a lead to keep it balanced in the water pass this through the float and tie a swivel at the top so same tie again just wrap this like this for like three or four times and then pass it through back to the bottom exit and then pull so this is how it looks 
I will make a knot right here so the lead wouldn't go right down to the hook. See, the lead can't go anywhere. And this is the hook that I would normally use. This is the kale hook or G hook, whatever you know it as. So if you're missing a lot of fish, I think this is the hook that you should try. This hook works perfect. And there is the plug for the float. So this is where it normally looks like. So it's just the lead, the swivel, and the hook and the popping cork so this technique is very simple and easy you would just put it in the water like this cast it how far you want to cast it and just pull and it would make a popping song and probably the fish would think it's a frenzy and making it easy pickings for them and they would run in and trust me you would get one of the most amazing bites a very very hard snatch now the last one is the bottom rig so I'm using a 3 ounce sinker you can use a heavy one because the water current is very strong out there so I suggest you could use a 4 ounce which one is ever is working good for you so basically what I just do is just tie on this at the bottom and the length of this leader is normally be like waist height for me so you could set it to what height you want so basically it's just a sinker probably three feet three feet of leader make another loop at the top where you could tie on your fishing line and then the hook Look at the size of the hook. So tie on uh, one, two, three, four, pass it back through and pull. So this is one hook and the sinker so I will do two hooks so normally I would use two hooks so I will make another loop here and tie on another piece of twine same style of tying again make a loop pass through the hook Give it like four wraps. Pass it back through and tie. So instead of one hook, now I have two because sometimes they would normally bite the high hook or normally they would bite the low hook or sometimes you put on two different bait and you will see how they would bite so this is the tree setup I would normally use we have we popping cork we have we bottom rig that's with two hook and that's where you tie on your fishing line and we have the paku line some of the bait that I'll be showing you guys in this video they're right out here you just have to come with a cast net and you will throw till you get them or if you know someone you can get it from and make it easy on you that's even better so have a look at these baits
Well, you guys already had a look at the rigs, the hooks, the bait and everything that I use. Now it's time for me to show you the fish I caught using those same things. Have a look. This is what the early morning, rainy season, nip titers look like. And for a try gonna be this. This is what um, we would normally call a paku line. Just a sinker, a big hook, and a bait. Just throwing this right close alongside the jetty and Paku or probably a small grouper with bite on. So we try and we lock it in, see what we can get. This line is slack. Let's see what we're going on here. This one is too small. We can put this one back. Just try and get a bigger one. Look at this. Take a Release. That's how he is doing it. Nice one for the camera. Nice juvenile Goliath grouper. Just right over the edge here. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm.
one of the next target species we just pick up from here so we already had the grouper now we got this let's see what more else we can get Yeah. Yeah, you can start climbing up. Nice buy. Not a dog, belly basho. Nice one, nice one. And and do like my friend. Picture right away. Time to set him free. We wouldn't we wouldn't normally keep this. Look at this water. Nice. Easy, Philip. Bring it. Cool, boy. I expect things happen too. Woo! Yeah. Inside the mountain. Nah, you're good. You're good. Hold on, you take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Oh gosh! Buckets! Oh, he's coming in. Coming in. Coming in. Yeah, you're gonna knock up more now. I don't see it. Knock it up more now. Ah, Jung, by when you snap a king, come wrong, snap a guy, bite body. Fresh water? You know about that? Take your time there, snap a king. Bait. Yeah. Yeah. Come down this side, come down this side, come down, come down, come down, walk and come down. You're good. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Take out the hook. Take out the leather. It does the leather hook. Nice one, mate. Nice one for Pegasus. <laughs> <laughs> By the king. Nice big one. King. Hmm? Oh, belly bash. Oh, belly bash. Hmm? Years now, boy. <laughs> Years now. Come <laughs> to the one 
the other day. Yeah. Which part of the world he come from? <laughs> Small one. Oh, something Hokan did make it feel like them. <laughs> Small thing. <laughs> One. Beat up and go again. Nice size. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video and see you on the next fishing adventure.